Hello everyone. It is day 21 of Mega Magnolia March 2015 event. So the funny thing is I know Rena just did a video on a coloring tutorial and <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and do the coloring tutorial on a darker skin tone using lacy pants. Um, this is actually um, stamped out with Memento Tuxedo Black ink and the reason I use that ink is because Sybil, who is J and uh, J, I think she's Sybil B now on YouTube. Uh, she emailed me one time saying that, you know, I was worried about markers and stuff. And she let me know that by using the Memento Tuxedo Black ink, it wouldn't ruin my Copic markers. So that's what I kind of stayed with. Now, the paper, the cardstock that I use is 110 pound cardstock that I pick up at Walmart. Uh, it's nothing, <clears throat> you know, it comes in a big yellow pack. And that's what I'm have access to. Sometimes I go and they actually don't have any. So how I usually start out with coloring my skin tones is I use um, E V or RV21. Can you all see that? RV21. Um, usually I start out with my, you know, a lot of people do theirs a little bit different, but usually this is how I do mine. I'll just go quickly share. I color the cheeks. Then sometimes I'll, and I'm just going to do the skin tone today. I'm not going to do the whole image. Keep it simple. Then I go with E02. I know that sounds kind of weird, but I am going to do a darker skin tone. So I'll go ahead and very nicely outline, outline the cheeks. And um, whatnot. My husband actually went fishing. You guys want to see a picture of my husband fishing? And that's his fish. <laughs> he went fishing, so he brought us fish. So we're going to have fish and rice for dinner. So anyways, this is how I usually um, color my images. And I'm doing a darker skin tone. So I'm just going to go ahead. And I usually do one color at a time. And if you are not familiar with Magnolia Ink magazines, if you're able to pick them up and find them, you should get them because they will not be printed anymore. I think they're going uh, to the Doohickey magazine. And they've got some great ideas. So, um, and they also talk about different shading and whatnot. So what I usually do is that's how I start off. Then I use E23. And this is called Hazelnut. And everybody's like, what? Hazelnut? Yep, that's what I use. And this is to give me a darker skin tone. Some people might not like my darker skin tones, but that's what I do. I use that, and I very nicely go over. And then I do some blending. And make sure that you don't oversaturate your um, cardstock with, you know, when you're coloring. Uh, be very careful about that, because then it will run into your other colors. <clears throat> and then I just do this. Do, do, do. But I love how they teach you how to do shading. And there's a lot of other great tutorials on YouTube as far as coloring. Alrighty, so then we've got the E23 for my dark color. Then I'm going to use Barely Beige, which is E11. And these are just the Copic markers. So usually what I do is I uh, usually run my uh, browns together. And I try to pull that darker color in. So, And then you can see I'm going over with my pinks. But this is the way I color my, my darker tones. I try new things all the time, too. Sometimes I try uh, new colors and stuff. And I try to color the, the color, the um, skin tone, depending on what hair type. Sometimes I'll do the hair type first. Sometimes I do the skin tone first. Just depends on what colors I'm going to be working with on that particular day. So that is my darker color. You can see the color. Okay, so then, and then I'm going to go back over it with the RV21, the light pink. Sometimes I use blush, it just depends on what color I'm going for. So if I want the cheeks to be a little bit more pinkish. Just depends on how I'm feeling on that day. Okay, now I'm going to go with E00 white. Skin white, there we go. My skin is a little dry. I know you're probably going, what? 
this is actually how I color. And if you can notice, my, my marker is getting dry. But this is actually how I uh, color my darker skin tones. Oh, no. Okay, good. <laughs> I had stamped out other images and then I just forgot about it. I'm like, no way. Okay. <laughs> Sorry about that, everybody. <laughs> I just like, just random thought that was in my mind. I need to refill. I know everybody's probably like, what? Um, look, my thing is like super bone dry. Uh, let me get my, uh, my other E00. And I've got a couple. All right, well, this one might work. I think I need a refill on my E00s. Okay, maybe this one. There we go. So this is the color. Oh my goodness, it just, I'm just like, no, I'm trying to do a video. Maybe this one's juicy. Oh my gosh, one's juicy. Okay, there we go. We're, we're rolling now. <laughs> so I just try to blend that color in. So it's not too dark. All right, so we got that. Oh, let me do the little hand there. Can you all see? Okay. Just blend, 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 blend. I love, uh, to me, um, for those who don't know, I color for stress relief. And then I'm just going to go with uh, the E11. I had a severe back injury, and I just fell in love with these markers and these images. And right now is the greatest time to pick up these images. See my color tone. So to me, I love it. I think she is gorgeous. Alrighty, so let me let me take a look. See, okay, she's good. She's good for now. Alrighty, for the the eyes. Okay, this is what I normally do. I was wondering where this color went to. I usually just to, because sometimes I'm not the best stamper, I'm just saying. I am hoping to pick up one of the Misty tool. Oh, I want one. So I can be a better stamper. But usually I just uh, take my W7 or whatever dark color that I have and I uh, go ahead and uh, color in the eyes. And then once I color the eyes, I don't touch it up or anything. So I just wanted to be a little bit more pinker. A little pinker. Alrighty, so now for the little dimple for the nose. I'm going to just put a little E02. Uh, let me see how that looks. Yeah, that'll work. Maybe I'll go over it with the E00. So it's not as... There we go. Just right. So now I'll take my Jelly Roll pen. I like to give uh, the little reflection. And then I usually put two dots right there. Sometimes I do my dots different. Put a little dimple. And that is how I do a darker skin tone. So I hope that little uh, tutorial for you <laughs> uh, was worth it. Uh, the colors I used today was E23 Hazelnut, I used R21 for the cheeks, E00, E11, W7, E02, and a Jelly Roll pen. 
So those are the colors that I used for my little color tutorial on a darker skin tone. I hope this was, this was helpful for you. Um, just go ahead and stay tuned for um, the sponsors. And if you have any questions or concerns, just go ahead and let me know. Uh, today, today's question for my Mega Magnolia March 2015 event. For the extra drawing, you must like this video and leave a comment below with the answer. The question is... Uh, on page two of the doohickey die of Magnolia Licia stamps, uh, what do you, what is the first item listed? That's the question of the day. So it's kind of like a little hunt, <laughs> a Magnolia hunt. Alrighty, so that's the question of the day. Um, okay, well I'm gonna go ahead and scoot and uh, hope you like my little coloring coloring tutorial of a darker skin tone. And I will see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Thanks for watching.